always a selfie. Anyway, it is Saturday. I'm up here at the boat. There it is behind me. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, gonna go kind of work on filling up that engine again with new oil. Uh, it's supposed to start raining, so I don't think I'm gonna try and do any work on the hole today. I hear a couple of drips. It's supposed to rain pretty bad today, so we'll see how that goes. Um, did bring a little bit of firewood with me to test out that stove. So yeah, we'll get in there and uh, get that going and get to working. Also gonna work a little bit on cleaning some metal and stuff that's in there out to take back to town. Hopefully I can work on that uh, and get it cleaned up so we can put it back in the bilge as ballast. That guys is just gallons and gallons of water in there. Oh boy. Okay. Well, here we go. So as you can see, there's just massive amounts of water in here right now. So yeah, I'm going to clean out the shop vac so that I can drain this water out and then just chuck it, right? Because the water in here is actually really clean. It looks pretty good. It's important in a moment of crisis like this to really prioritize, you know, what needs to be done first. So I'm going to start the stove and just worry about the water in a minute. If I just cut this in half, it should be good. This is gonna go great. Honestly, that went better than I expected. bit too tall. I don't know what's going on there. Let's bring you down in here for this. Go. Oh. Is there a little fire? Pop that on there nice. I like to pop that guy open. And lighter from here. Let's see if we can get some fire. Maybe. It'll probably draw. Well, dang it. This thing works pretty good once it gets going. This thing, this has got heat coming off of it. It's great. All right, here's what I think happened. I think that hole right there is lower than that drain. And yes. And so all the water, instead of going out the drains, Instead, it went through that hole right there. That's definitely lower. So yeah, so you wouldn't think 
you wouldn't think you could collect that much water but this boat did so i'm going to clean all of this up and hopefully lay down some uh, epoxy um, some filler epoxy over here and over here and then uh yeah i mean honestly that's all i'm gonna be able to do for today because uh i'll have to wait for that to dry before i can put anything else on so yeah that's the plan so far <laughs> Say hello, Lizzie. Hello. We've got Lizzie here doing some emergency boat surgery with me. Don't fall. No, don't Still drippy. Better wipe. Red. all this done will uh, actually relieve all this water so um, we'll see let's move out some stuff in here anyways because we just made way too much of it <laughs> unfortunately apparently we didn't have it thick enough to actually stay up on the side yeah, look at it collapsed over here too, so that's unfortunate, but oh, damn. that's okay. We can do it again, right? Yeah, yeah, we can do it again. We can try again. I mean, this is, this is great for right now. Yeah, as long as it seals everything up, right? Yes, exactly. Perfect. Bilge pump to the rescue. It is not moving super fast, but it is moving. You can see it swirling there. The nice part is that if there is any little bits of oil or anything, the bilge pump is not going to pick them up because it, the, all the oil is sitting on the top. We'll use the uh, we'll use the shop vac to clean all that stuff out. All right, I've got this. Well, these tarps over the boat to hopefully keep the water down to a minimum. Uh, this side's not got the same great coverage as the other side. Uh, that's all I had for the moment. Let's go check the inside. All right, so we've got this Bondo-esque looking epoxy now. Um, I tried to like fillet the uh, edges here and around all of the inspection hatches. Hopefully going to take and help seal those up and then got those holes sealed up over here. No matter what, but being epoxy, it should take and seal that up so it doesn't rust anymore too. That's I am in the Jeep. It's full of just crap right now. 
I've got about seven or eight gallons of bilge water in here. And I need to go deal with that. I'm gonna go take it over to the boat haven. Hopefully they won't tell me I can't dump it there. And then I'm feeling kind of wiped out. This has been a stressful day. But I'm hoping I've got the tarps up on the boat. I've got epoxy curing, hopefully. It's over 40 degrees, so as long as it's mixed well, which it should be, it should be good to go. It should cure up. If it doesn't and I come back on Wednesday and it's still just a mess, then I'm going to bring a heater on Wednesday and hopefully we can get it going. Um, otherwise, I'm going to work on the engine, in which was what I was planning on doing today, and I didn't do it all. So and hopefully the engine's not underwater. That'd be great. Okay, see y'all later. <laughs>